Hey Gianna, what are some of the key um, kind of concepts or the high level insights that you've heard about today or yesterday from the Smart Cities Conference? Yeah, I think it's been really exciting to see all of the different um, innovative partners that have been contributing. So on the, obviously I have a bias, I work for AT&T, and so we've been doing a lot of uh, great work in this space, but also to see the different um, um, partners like Cisco, Hewlett Packard, and how they're contributing to the whole ecosystem and really understanding the message that's being reinforced over and over, not only from the industry partners, but from the cities themselves, that um, it really is a, an ecosystem and it takes a huge partnership to get things um, done in yeah. a quick way. And I've heard a lot that Smart Cities is really kind of that opportunity for people who have never really worked together. I heard this last week in Dallas that you know a few years ago they're seen as competitors who would never talk to each other and now there's a new sense of collaboration because the space is so new and everyone's trying to figure it out and trying to catch up to what's happening around the world. Yeah, for sure. And I think that that's really how um, everybody's really understanding that that's how you're going to be successful um, because uh, it's not only the different technologies that are targeting, but also leveraging the data, which is really what's most useful to the cities in terms of um, um, making lives um, easier and better for their consumers, um, but also cheaper for them in the long run, and that's where they can really leverage their cost savings is understanding that data, which is only happening if that collaboration on all the partner side is happening, I think. Got it, so that's the private sector. What about the public sector? What are you guys seeing in terms of kind of a new spirit of teamwork or collaboration in this new space where everyone's just trying to figure it out? Yeah, I think folks are really excited. I think um, you know we we the the cities in particular um, are are really trying to get a handle on how to how to make this um, move quicker. You know, from our perspective, it's it's really important to talk about um, the the permitting processes and things like that that are yeah. really critical um, to build the network infrastructure that everything runs on, and and it needs to be built as quickly as all of the, as, as the uh, smart Smart cities uh, technologies are innovating, Got it. and so I think um, we're hopeful in, the, in those conversations and having those happen. Nice. And on the uh, panel this morning, and forgive me, I can't remember who is the person to credit this really smart quote with, but he's kind of giving everybody a break, you know, because this is all being yeah. invented as we speak. That cities or corporates or entrepreneurs or nobody has to have it figured out. The plan doesn't have to be baked and then ta-da, we're ready to showcase this and that it's actually okay for it to be collaborative and messy and entrepreneurial and start small and throw it up, see what sticks and then keep going. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I think it was a gentleman from, Hew from Hewlett Packard. Oh, who great, was talking perfect, about that. Yeah, yeah. for that. Yeah, it was great. Um, mm -hmm. And it is, it's, um, it's in, and I, I think on both sides, um, finding ba that balance between consumer Consumers wanting um, solutions very quickly, um, and um, and governments that that tend not to move that quick uh, along with it.